Welcome back, you guys. Your boy C. Kane. Today, I'm going to be doing the all time West Virginia Mountaineers team. It's about damn time, man. I've been waiting to do the squad. We had about 600 votes on this poll, and I think about 550 of them were all West Virginia fans. Not only that, but you guys destroyed the like button. Got to 1,000 likes in less than a day, and I appreciate that. I don't know how we got that many. I was just asking for 500, but hey, I'm happy that we got to double that. All right, enough talk. Let's get right into it, man. There are a few players that went to West Virginia that are not in the game. One of those players is Pat white he was drafted by the dolphins but he had a very short nfl career one of the best quarterbacks to ever do it for west virginia also major harris who was pretty much michael vick before oh, michael vick man he oh, was amazing when it comes oh. to dual threat quarterbacks you also can't forget about noel divine even though he didn't play in the nfl i had to give him a shout out because he was so electric when he was playing for the mountaineers and then mario alford who's not in the game for whatever reason he was on the jets practice squad in 2016 and then he was picked up by the browns so i'm not sure why he's not in the game but we still have a pretty decent team when it's all said and done let's get right into it at quarterback we have 72 overall geno smith his stats are a little bit better than i expected man 81 speed 86 throw power 80 throw short backup running back we have wendell smallwood 64 overall from the eagles his card is really good for a silver man 88 speed 87 agility 88 acceleration running back number one we're going to use charles sims the third 77 overall from the buccaneers i know he has a team heroes card but that set expired so we're going to have to rock with his gold card 87 speed 88 acceleration 86 bcv 86 juke moving 84 looseness we have a really good fullback as well will johnson 78 overall from the giants in the slot we have 71 overall stedman bailey from the rams it's a shame he doesn't have a campus hero because he was amazing for the mountaineers wide receiver number two we have kevin white 75 overall from the bears once again i wish he had a better card this one still has really nice stats man 89 speed 86 catch and traffic 85 spec cash and then wide receiver number one you're probably wondering where this guy was Tavon austin out of position card from the rams 93 speed 94 elusiveness 87 route running and 85 spec catch one of my favorite cards to use so far this year he's up there with tyree kill for one of the fastest cards in my opinion that are in the game right now now it's an offensive line where we don't have the best talent but we're gonna do what we can with what we had don barkley at left tackle quentin spain at left guard and then mark lewinsky i'm gonna put him at right guard now i've been seeing you guys recommend that instead of using random players i should use players that are born in the same state that the college is in and i'm actually gonna try to do that for future videos but for this video i couldn't find anyone that fits that description on offense so we just got random players for now and this is the offense we're gonna be rocking with man not too bad only one elite player now onto the defense man at d tackle number one we have 66 overall chris neald and i'm surprised he didn't have a most beard version because look at that at right end we have 65 overall will clark from the Bengals. at left end we're gonna use terrence garvin left outside linebacker from the redskins and then that actual left outside linebacker we're gonna use nick Kwiatkowski. oh my god i butchered that i'm sorry right outside linebacker we have jt thomas the third from the giant mlb number two we have 63 overall Najee good and then mlb number one we have bruce irvin from the raiders 88 speed 92 tackling 94 pursuit 90 hit power 88 block shed and 86 play wreck all around stud and i don't even think he's the best player on this defense in the slot we have 81 overall daryl worley from the panthers really solid stats for an 81 overall man 87 speed 88 press 82 zone 84 man and 91 acceleration cb number two we have adam pacman jones 82 overall he lost a step in terms of speed but he still has really good cover stats man 87 man 83 zone and 89 play rank and then at cb number one we're gonna play him out of position keith tandy from the buccaneers he needs some milk 90 speed 93 acceleration 92 agility 88 play rec 86 press mean everything you want from a cornerback and he's a strong safety very nice card right here at actual strong safety we have ryan mundy 73 overall backing him up we have kj Dillon, 66 overall from the texans and then last but not least at free safety we have ghost of madden future carl joseph from the raiders this card is just insane man 90 speed 92 acceleration 90 zone 91 pursuit and 91 hit power i'm excited to use this card can't wait to see what he can do out there on the field and i I couldn't forget about pat mcafee man 91 overall punter from the colts and now we are ready to go out there on the field and see what this team is made of here we go on defense to start this game off he's passing the ball we're watching the middle of the field and we got the sack let's get off the field here boys third and 16 go get him again another sack Tavon austin on the return Tavon austin on the return look at this guy go beautiful return look at charles sims to the outside still on his feet 
down at the 20-yard line. Was not expecting the left side of the line to block like that, but I'm very happy they did. Circles wide open on this play. Kevin White, he's too fast. Second and goal. I'm hoping I don't make any mistakes, man. I just need to put the ball right on the money. But I cannot see. I'm legally blind. Nice bait, bro. Nice bait. Oh, my God. He's going deep to the left side. And we got the interception. Pac-Man Jones. What a play. Wide open on the right side. We have Stedman Bailey picking up a first down. Somehow this man is clamping me up with cover to invert. So we're just going to have to go to the screen. See if Tavon Austin can get busy. Come on, Tavon. I see you, bro. I see you. Oh, okay. We'll just take the three. Back on defense we go. He keeps on running his corner strike. And we got pressure on the quarterback. Garvin with the sack this time. Once again, the same exact play, man. Oh my god, what a dot. Oh, he's gonna run it right up the gut. And that's way too easy, man. So now he has the lead. Nobody's covering Tavon Austin. So hopefully he can get free on this play right here. Oh, circle's wide open, though. Look at Kevin White. Beautiful catch. We're gonna keep on attacking that side until he gets off that safety or switches up on the coverage. Geno Smith throwing it deep to Kevin White. Kevin White makes an amazing grab. We got the lead, folks. Oh, he's going deep to one-on-one -on -one coverage. It looks like he didn't learn the first time. Pac-Man got beat right there. You know, nobody's perfect. Got Tavon Austin doing a nice little out route. Okay, he got the catch. And he got the rack after the catch. Nice job, Tavon. Here we go, right around midfield. We have two timeouts in less than 40 seconds to put up some points on his drive. Okay, we have X wide open. Nice pass, Gino. Running some mesh on this play. He's using the safety, which means we have someone wide open through the middle. And Sims drops the pass. Yes, we got it back, though. Worley with the clutch interception, and we're already in field goal range. Not going to take any chances, man. Just going to try to take our three. Hopefully, we make it. Woo. All right, so we're down one point heading into the second half. My opponent has put the true clock on, and I don't blame him, man. We cannot stop his offense right now. Come on, man. Fourth and 20. He wants to go for it for whatever reason. Yo, get the quarterback. Let's go. I don't know why, but we can't seem to get anything going right now on offense. Third and 18. Got to find a way to convert this. Oh, my God. Nobody's open. We're just going to go deep. Levitate, levitate. Tavon with the catch of the game. Oh my God. Running some wide trail. He has to make a play. I'm going right to him. Let's see if he can make that play. Oh, he didn't make the play. We have someone wide open and we got the lead. We're going to run the toss to the left side. Why not? We're going to run the toss to the left side. Come on, baby. Charles Sims, get in there, boy. Oh. Over three minutes left, and he has amazing wide receivers. Game is still not even close to being over. Oh, we might get this interception. Bruh. How is that not a user? We were clearly in bounds, man. So I tried to challenge it, and we lost the timeout. But I thought we were in, man. That looked like it was a clean interception. Nevertheless, though, we got to get a stop here. Third and ten. I know he's trying to go to the corner route. Damn. This is crazy, man. He's chewing clock on second and goal with less than 15 seconds in the game. Oh, he went to the running back. What a call, man. I was not ready for that. So there we go. Last play from scrimmage, most likely. Oh, we don't even get the ball off. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. I couldn't get the W with the all-time West Virginia Mountaineers team. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. Remember, 1,000 likes, and I'll start working on the next all-time team. Thanks for watching, as usual. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. And as for me... Gotta run when I hit a bird call. Yeah. Hop in that thing and murk off, swerve off.